our eyes and brain collaborate to make sense of the world. But our brains need years of training before they can turn what our eyes see into a meaningful image in an instant. Follow a blind man as he uses his eyes for the first time and hear him describe what his brain can see. Michael May has undergone radical surgery to repair eyes ruined in a boyhood accident. He hopes that when the bandages come off, he'll be able to see for the first time in 40 years. I didn't expect anything to happen for at least a couple of weeks. So to go into that room and have the bandages peeled back, and then to actually see light coming in was more than words can really describe. All of a sudden, there's the overwhelming whoosh of visual input. Things resolving into colors and shapes. Images whooshing everywhere. Rebuilt eyes allow light to reach Michael's retinas. First thing you should see is your boy. But Michael has a problem. Hi, sweetie. After 40 years in the dark, his brain doesn't recognize what his eyes can see. Vision wasn't as simple as just turning on uh, the sight and all of a sudden being able to read a book. <laughs> it's much more complicated than that. Vision isn't something where you flip a switch. <laughs> so what visual sense will Michael have of a world he hasn't seen in 40 years? Once blind, Michael May's repaired eyes now work almost perfectly. But surprisingly, he can hardly see. The reason is the age at which Michael lost his sight. A freak chemical explosion at age three blinded him. Forty years later, he underwent an experimental procedure to restore his sight. Doctors replaced a key part of the eye destroyed in the accident, his cornea. This clear, paper-thin coating protects the eye and helps it focus. The damage to Michael's eyes kept him from making out anything. He hoped that new corneas would mean another chance to see the world. But 40 years of blindness left him with a larger problem. I was trying to latch on to images and make sense of the world. It wasn't as though I saw a face and said, oh, that's a smile automatically. I had to intellectualize this whole process, dissect it, and then figure it out. Michael May has no visual memory of the world. It's not something we're born with. At birth, everything we see is new. But we archive the images, learning their content and meaning. We build our visual memory through experience. At the back of the brain, over half a billion brain cells make up our visual cortex, the processor and storehouse for vision. Early in our lives, we build our visual memory. And as long as we live, that library helps us make sense of the world. The interpretation and therefore the recognition of certain things takes a tremendous amount of experience. In this sense, the brain is learning to see. And this is taking place over the first six years or to a smaller extent, even the first nine years. But when Michael was blinded at three, he'd only just started to understand the things that make up his ability to see. Size, shape and distance, light and shade. Is that a curb, 
a step down, a step up, or a shadow. Just in terms of the brain's ability to analyze uh, the depth, to see the edge, and to realize that there's a six inch drop to the curve, I'm just not able to perceive that information. If he had spent a childhood seeing and playing with his bicycle and riding off curves of different sizes, he would have learned subtle different cues that lets him distinguish between a three inch curve at one distance, a six inch curve a little further, and a nine inch curve further than that. Deprived of that experience, it gets to be very hard to do so on an optical basis alone. Now Michael's adult brain has to struggle to catch up on the learning it missed as a child. But Michael does recognize and enjoy some things. I'll use a cane to deal with what's in front of me. And then I can look around and appreciate the things that I can perceive. Bright colored flowers, landmarks, people walking by, things like that that I can use my vision for. And I don't even think about what's in front of me. Michael May inhabits a weird world between blindness and sight, frustrated by his lack of visual memory. 